And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to get your Oregon HUD account set up, okay? Highway use tax account. Let's say you are a new trucking company and you wanna get your Oregon payment permit. How do you do that? You're gonna come to this application right here. It's called application for motor carrier account, okay? And you're just gonna fill this up basically, you know? It is pretty easy information about you and the trucking company you have. It's gonna ask you if you wanna be a quarterly filer or a monthly filer, you know, whatever you choose. If you do choose to be a quarterly filer, you have to deposit $2,000 uh, for them to keep as a bond and then they will pay you back within a year. By the way, the sound quality is stuck in this Chromebook, I know, but I have no other option, so it's still doable. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so after you do submit that, you basically have to fill this up, print it, sign it, date it, and then send it, fax it to this number right here. Fax it to this number up here. And then after you do that, it's gonna take them a couple days and then they will email you a temporary information to log into a website called OregonTruckingOnline.com, okay? And after you get that, and by the way, hey, you see there's a CDC account number here, you don't have one, it's okay, you can leave it blank on your application and then they'll give you one with the login information. And hopefully I can blur all that out because it is my personal information, my login information. Okay, and then after you get that temporary login information, first thing you have to do is change your password, right? I don't remember how to do it now, but it doesn't matter change your password and then next thing you have to go to a payment manager oh permits issuance okay you have to come here and then you have to enroll vehicles in Oregon weight mile tax program uh, you press right here and then it's gonna ask you a basic information about the truck about like the axle number of the axles the total gross vehicle weight wind number unit number and all that it's basically pretty easy to do that obviously we do not have a truck to add to our fleet now so we can't really go any farther you know can we let's see oh yeah we can so here it's basically the license plate number the state that give you the plate like idaho let's say you know driver's name whoever's gonna drive it it's optional wind number vehicles here probably even we go it's gonna ask for more information about the vehicle and then after we do that, we basically set up, right? We're gonna get a mail and then we're gonna call. How I did was quarterly, so I got a mail and then I had to call and deposit $2,000. And then from there, it was good to go. So let's say now we do have our permit and at the end of the quarter, we're gonna file our, what's it called? A uh, weight mile tax report, okay? Let's go ahead and do that now. Oh, uh, with my life support. Yeah, if you have less than 50 vehicle, uh, that's what you use. And we have one, but hopefully one day we have more than 50, who knows? For now, we have one truck. Okay, what are we? We are a quarterly tax filer, okay? And we are filling up for the second quarter and confirm the reporting period. It is the second quarter. And okay, Oregon knows this period. Yes, I did had a little bit and submit. Okay, now it does have my plate number, uh, Idaho truck number, the weight number of axles. I have five. Okay, it's asking the autometer reading when I enter the Oregon and the autometer reading when I exit the state of Oregon. I think that's what it's asking, so I don't know any of that, okay? Uh, how I am gonna do it is, I'm not sure if I'm doing it right, but I think I'm gonna do it right, okay? Let's see. I do have my Motive logbook here, and it's telling me that I was in Oregon for 214 miles point 70, okay? Uh, that's how much I traveled through Oregon. So what I'm gonna do is 215 basically. Let's say, let's do them a favor and say 215. It's better to be more than less. Okay, let's say my odometer was zero and when I exit, it was 215 miles, okay? Is it gonna read it? Uh, total Oregon miles was 215. That's all I had. 
54 $54 man that's crazy man that's unacceptable uh no or not no 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 why did I click that ah now I have to do it again okay uh let's do it again I have no idea what's that what's that declared WT I'm not sure what that is so number of Axel we had five and then zero and then and emails we had 215 oh uh, yes and total emails in Oregon 215 again and uh, we fucked up it was saying $54 why it doesn't anymore Okay, try again. Five, five axles, zero. Ending is two hundred and fifteen. So, all miles in Oregon is two hundred and fifteen. Okay. Uh, damn. Twenty-five cents in all. Okay. Uh, I didn't know it was gonna be that expensive when I take the load. Right. I take a load from Washington to Colorado. And I passed by Oregon, so $54, man. That's crazy, it doesn't work to go in Oregon a lot, I guess. I tried by, my name is Mahdi. And let's do my last name also. And the title is owner. I'm the owner of the company, right? Let's do a capital O to look more professional. And my phone number, I'm obviously gonna take that all out, like blur it out. Uh, save report, return later, finish report, and send to cart. Yeah, that's it. I think let me let me make sure about the mouse we had in Oregon right before we go. How do I do that? I come to my motive dashboard and it's gonna tell me Oregon 214 and I fought for 215 so I think I'll be fine $54 is what we have to pay and what do we do finish report sent to cart okay now we have to go to our shopping cart right here and pay for it basically and how do we pay for it? We're gonna click on this to check it out. Remove from cart. Is that are we gonna remove it from cart? Man, I don't know. Name is here, phone number is here, email is. Let's use which email do I use usually? Let's use this one. And Please pay on unfundable. Okay, I get that. My card information, and I'm gonna fill. And then probably after paying that, I'm gonna get a. I am. Um, where is my wallet? I'm gonna get a confirmation email, and then. Hopefully I did it right. This is my first time doing it. Um, last time I did it, I didn't have no miles. So this is my first time doing it. I will call after do that. After I do that, within like a week, I'm gonna call them and I'll make sure I did it right, you know. And that's it for this video. So see you guys in the next. I still have to do New Mexico and Kentucky. All right, see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mm.